Have you ever wondered why ChargePoint chooses to sell all of its charging hardware, but doesn't own any of it? That's the question we're going to try and answer in today's video. Just to provide some context, there's two main business models in the EV charging industry right now. One of those is to build the chargers and then own and operate them yourself and generate revenue from the sale of electricity to EV drivers. The other model involves building that charging hardware but then selling it to another company that goes on to own and operate its own charging stations itself. And this hardware sales model is what ChargePoint has focused its whole business on. But why have they focused so much on hardware sales? And could we see ChargePoint change its business model going forward? The main reason ChargePoint has given for why they use this model is because it's capital light. And that means they don't need as much money up front to continue growing their business. And that's especially important today with interest rates being a lot higher than they were in the past. But the major downside is that ChargePoint doesn't get any of that electricity revenue from those chargers once they are installed. That's all in the hands of the hardware owners. But then again, because ChargePoint is selling their hardware, they're getting a burst of revenue right up front and they don't need to wait very long to get a return on investment like they would if they were only generating revenue from the sale of electricity. And as it stands right now, ChargePoint says they've seen very high utilization rates at the existing chargers on their network, but those customers that bought those chargers haven't been buying any new ones to keep up with that demand. So why exactly is that? I don't think anybody knows the exact answer to this, but if I had to guess, I think it's because a lot of ChargePoint's customers have been a lot of retail shopping kind of locations, and their core business is not on being an EV charging station. And with the economy where it is right now, a lot of businesses are very focused on their core operations and aren't really looking to invest in a new secondary business like having an EV charging station in the parking lot. So with hardware sales beginning to plateau for ChargePoint, could this be a good opportunity for them to invest in their own chargers that they would own and operate themselves? If ChargePoint was in a better financial situation to be able to make such upfront investments, then maybe it would be a good idea to do so. Ultimately, I don't think there's one definitive ownership model for the EV charging industry. And the reason I believe that is because no matter whether they're selling the hardware or owning it themselves, there's still going to be an owner of that hardware somewhere in the equation. And the economy, the interest rates, those are still going to be putting pressure on that owner and their decision to invest in new charging equipment. And it doesn't matter who that owner is going to be. I think the decision to own versus sell the charging hardware is much more of a case by case basis. And that's part of the reason I think we've seen Tesla and Shell and BP, a lot of these large fueling providers continuing to invest in their charging networks because not only do they see the potential returns that operating this charging business can provide them, but they also have the financial means to do so. And like I said earlier, maybe ChargePoint would shift towards owning some of its chargers if it was in a better financial situation. They actually just came out with their preliminary quarter three earnings, and I made a whole video on that. It seems like things are just getting worse for ChargePoint on their financial side, so be sure to check that video out. I'll see all of you over there, and thank you guys for watching.